Hey guys, Nick and Hyde here from Nightlife Kennel, coming at you with another coon hunting quick tip. We get often asked many times is how would you start a young dog if you don't have an experienced dog to take him with? Well, I don't want you guys to fret, don't want you to worry. It is possible to do, it can be done. Sometimes it's a little harder, a little more taxing, it's definitely going to take more patience and more drive on you to get it done, but it is possible. Here's what you do, go ahead and get your dog, work them up to about six months old basically around the house. You want your kennel manners taken care of, your lead training, you getting to know the dog, the dog getting to know you and their coordination, and hopefully getting used to riding in the box. Six month old point on, you wanna go ahead and start taking them out in the woods. You wanna go take them out in the woods that you know has got plenty of coon, you got plenty of land, you got plenty of time, because it's gonna take a lot of time, guys. Take that pup, cast them in the woods. They may hang around your feet a little bit, you're just gonna go for a walk. If they get venturous enough and they wanna go off on their own, better for them too. That's definitely what you're looking for. Uh, now if you get in a situation where that dog's starting to strike and open and move on something, just give the dog plenty of patience. At first, they're not going to finish out the track. They might. I mean, sometimes you get that prodigal dog that just knows it all when they're real young, but a lot of times they won't. You just want to be patient, let them have plenty of time to work out the track. Now, if you're hunting a place that doesn't have a lot of coons, we suggest putting in a feeder. But, be cautious with that guys we do not recommend you using the feeder to hunt off of the feeder is only used to put in the central part of the property to make sure there's plenty of coon on the property you want to take that pup put them in the woods many many hundreds of yards if possible away from this feeder you do not want to cast that dog on the feeder the feeder develops will develop the dog and being dependent on the feeder to find a track we don't want that but if you get to feeder in there, you get the coons on the property, and you give that dog ample time to go out and explore and find one. Eventually it's going to find a track, it's going to move it on, and you're going to eventually make a dog out of it. So another thing guys, when it comes related to drags and uh, cage coons, we don't recommend that at all. Drags a lot of times for one are not any good because the scent you buy in a bottle, there's no telling how old it is, it could even turn to be no good at all. If you're using even a coon hide that's fresh, it's only fresh for about a day and it's going to start the rotten process. Don't smell the same thing as a coon. Also, when it comes to live coons in cages, for one, a lot of states it's illegal to use that. North Carolina, where I live, you can't do that. Secondly, if you use a cage, I've seen dogs that had enough cage coons on them that when they actually go up to a cage that's empty, they'll start barking a tree and all that. And that shows you the dog has been worked on a cage too much. So, no cages, no drags. Take the dog out in the woods with a place that's got plenty of coon that gives the dog apple opportunity for its natural abilities to develop and it will if it's got it in it it will become a coon dog so appreciate it, guys that is your nightlife coon hunting